the sun is shining, the birds are chirping, the bacon is sizzling. Welcome to the Daily Swole. Welcome, everyone, to episode 176 of The Daily Mother Swole, Swole, Swole. Boo for the Swole. My costume this year is just to walk around and flex and scare little children with my absolute utter mass. Now, I wish I could say that. I've been, like I said, I've been ramping back into my workouts lately, uh, so I'm not as massive and scary as I once was, but it shall return. I will be going as Thor, so you can follow me on Snapchat. I'll be posting some stuff tonight and uh, the rest of the weekend. What's going on? Morning, morning. Tuan, is that how I pronounce it? I hope so. Episode 176, this episode, is about the long-lost exercise. And those of you that are, we were just talking on Periscope about trying my plank, uh, trying my plank exercise and starting kids young and practicing the plank. The plank is a great exercise. This is not what the exercise is. I'm just starting prefacing with the plank. The plank is a great exercise because not only does it work the intrinsic core stabilizers and it tightens up the core, pulls the abdominal muscles in, and so forth. We talked about you know activating the transverse abdominis, flattening the stomach, supporting the spine more, being more effective and more supportive for the core. But another exercise that's kind of related to the plank is the vacuum. And you might have heard of the vacuum. You might have seen this a lot in the old black and white pictures of Arnold and Frank Zane and Franco Colombo. And then you have all those guys that used to have a big drawing and maneuver. And then all of a sudden growth hormone got really popular. And you see the bodybuilders now with big distended stomachs and big bulging guts, even though they have abs uh, because their organs are growing, all that bloating. The vacuums are super important because not only do they work the transverse abdominis, they give you that nice flat aesthetic appearance and a nice slim slim waistline. So what is a vacuum? You're activating your transverse abdominis. You're sucking in, you're drawing in your abdominal cavity. And it gives you that nice caved in, that hollow, that vacuumed out look appearance. So like, let's say you're putting something in a plastic baggie and you stick a straw and you suck it out. It's like, it's like drying and like sealing something to be frozen. You know, if you get fish Uh, You catch fresh fish and they seal, they air seal the the packages. The benefits to performing the vacuum properly is expansive because of the muscles that it works, because of the pressure and the support that it gives to the core. Doing a vacuum is a great exercise, a great warm-up. It's a great warm-up for the plank. It's a great overall ab exercise. So this podcast and all of my material is essentially almost getting people off this idea that you have to crunch, you have to crunch, you have to sit up, you have to, those things are great, but they're different muscles. The ones that you being the public, most people really want are going to be the muscles that aren't hit by those exercises. First off, a great way to start doing the vacuums, and this is something that I will, again, have to do another video on, is you're going to start in all fours. Make sure your knees are under the hips and make sure the hands and wrists are under the shoulders. This is the standard tabletop position for yoga. Another reason why yoga is super important because your alignment for all these exercises is directly related to, let's say, the vacuum itself. This is just a yoga pose. It's the all four tabletop position. Neutral spine, and one of the great ways to know if you have a neutral spine is to put a dowel, a long dowel or a bar, a light bar, obviously you want a heavy metal bar because it'll be too heavy, and you put it on your back, and you want it to make sure it touches your sacrum, your thoracic spine, and the back of your head with your chin tucked in. So there's going to be some different space with your neck, and there's going to be a little tiny, little tiny space uh, on your lower back, not too much of a gap. That way you'll know that you have a normal curve, not too much of a curve. And then when you're doing this exercise, if any part comes off or loses contact, you know you're out of spinal position if you don't have a mirror handy. And I'll do a video on this explaining exactly what you're looking for. So you wanna suck in your stomach as much as possible. This is just a breathing and extreme drawing and maneuver technique. So you're draw your stomach in as much as possible, take a deep breath in and lift and inhale, widening the ribs, lifting and breathing in through the ribs. And then as you exhale, you suck in your stomach even more. And it's great to squeeze the glutes, it's great to isolate and stabilize the hips, but pretty much you're breathing, inhaling and exhaling very, very deep while drawing the stomach in as much as possible. So when you exhale, you 
suck in harder and you flatten that balloon in your lungs and all your organs and your abdominal cavity as much as possible. When you inhale, you're drawing in the stomach and you're drawing in the abdominal cavity as much as possible to restrict. And it's like you're getting an exercise. You're contracting with the transverse abdominis and those abdominal wall muscles because when you're inhaling, there's pressure building inside. And as you're sucking the stomach in, you're contracting the muscle, trying to fight against that pressure. So essentially you're lifting, you're doing resistance for those muscles. So it's not an isometric as much as, much as it's, it's an isometric, but it's also kind of concentric because you're fighting against resistance, like lifting weights. It's like doing a curl. It's like doing a push up. It's like doing a bench press. So you need to breathe deeply, lift the ribs, expand the ribs out to the side and suck the stomach in as you inhale and exhale, sucking the stomach in even more flat and getting all the air out as much as possible. And this goes in line with just keeping your stomach more drawn in all the time, pulling the stomach in when you're standing in line at the bank, where you're sitting in a chair, where you're in the car. Anywhere you could do a vacuum, you could do a, a transverse abdominis activation exercise. You could do that anytime. But when you're doing the vacuums, it's more focused and it's more directed and it's more advanced. You're going to be pulling in as hard as you can on all aspects. Once you fatigue, and you'll feel this, you'll be inhaling, you'll be trying to suck your stomach in, and you'll feel your stomach kind of starting to hang down and not being able to contract, that's when you're, the muscle's getting tired, and you're getting weak, and you're burning out. So then you can stop, rest, and then continue a little bit more. You can also do this in a more, you know, like say sitting back on your heels, on your knees, you know, with your hands on your thighs. There's different ways to do it, and I can show a couple different ways. But the basic way is on all fours. That way you know if you're keeping a neutral spine. That's really important, a neutral spine. You're not trying to round the back. It's not a cat-cow that you'll do in yoga. It's a nice neutral spine. You're isolating those muscles. And we've talked about isolation before. Isolation is doing as much as you can to hit one specific muscle, one specific movement, best you can. So you want to inactivate everything else and focus only on that. And as you get more fit and as you train more and as you practice these things more, don't forget your body will become more efficient at activating those muscles. You can't just say, hmm, I'm going to activate a specific muscle today. If you don't have that coordination and you don't have that foundation, your body will have a very difficult time trying to do so. You need to practice, and the better you get at training, the more exercise you do, the more experience your body gets exposed to, you'll be better at activating these little muscles. Neutral spine, use the dowel, suck the stomach in, keep it sucked in while you're inhaling, suck it in even harder while you're exhaling. This is a great transverse abdominus activator. It's one of those long loss exercises. It's kind of getting a little more popular, like on the back end, you're starting to see people talk about tiny ways and smaller ways. People are getting really into aesthetic appearance. You know, physique shows are coming back more than bodybuilding. It's kind of getting a little bit more popular. It's catching up to the big bodybuilding scene, more physique, more shape. You know, I think that has to do a lot with those fucking Twilight movies and Justin Bieber and all this BS. But hey, to each their own, it's still a lot of muscle mass. It's just more of an aesthetic appeal. I'm just joking. Not really. But the vacuum is super important. No one likes that bubble gut appearance. And practicing the vacuum will help all your stability. It will help all your stability. And when you have more stability, especially in your core, you'll be able to expound more strength and more force production safely and more efficiently. I'll stay for a few minutes after on Facebook Live and Periscope. If you have any questions, thank you for joining me for episode 176 of The Daily Mother Swole. And stay tuned. Stay tuned for more of these exercise videos. It's been very hectic, but there will be some more coming up in the near future, so stay tuned on my YouTube channel. And also, episodes 174 and 175 are on SoundCloud, iTunes, and Stitcher, and they're also up on YouTube. And um, some great stuff, another spotlight video like the one that blew up on my Facebook page. If you check that out, if you haven't, go to my Facebook page, and click on one minute for the rest of your life. And I have another one coming up very, very soon. It could even be as soon as tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. YouTube at Solnormous. YouTube at Solnormous is my YouTube channel. Go there, check it out. Check out all my exercise videos, my driving while gaining series, my vlogs, my daily swole, my raw motivational series. I got snaps on there. A lot of stuff everywhere. Also Instagram and Snapchat. So if you're wanting the latest updates, all the latest, all the, when things are posted, when things are coming out, follow me on Snapchat because that's where I give all the latest breakdowns. And when I post a video, when I post a podcast, I always put it up there first. If I'm going to, you know, be doing anything on any social media site, I always update Snapchat. So that is where you're going to get the latest information on anything that I'm doing. So thank you for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow at 12 noon Eastern time. Have a safe weekend. Peace out. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday.